Hello, Mark Simmons here with Jane and PC Experts. Over the weekend, I made a video showing you how to disable add-ons and extensions for the different browsers if you don't, if it's not loaded. Uh, this video is going to show you how to open Google Chrome in safe mode. It doesn't really have Google Chrome doesn't really have safe mode, but we're going to show you a tip that will help you. Um, this video is good for if you tried our other video and you still can't open Google Chrome to even to get to the settings. This is real simple. If you have Google Chrome in your the bottom of your taskbar right here, it's simple. You can right click and then new new incognito window. If you don't have it there, you could easily just add it or um, another way. Um, more than likely, you have a virus, so you're going to have things that may not work. Uh, like for whatever reason, maybe it won't let you drag it down there. So we're going to show you another way. You right-click on Google Chrome, and we're going to create shortcut. And make sure you rename this, like so that you know what the difference is. You know the first one is the regular Google Chrome in standard mode. We'll put in here or just put safe mode. Then hit enter. We want to right click. Go to properties. And it should automatically highlight the target you want to make sure you're under the shortcut tab and you want target just click somewhere by the way make sure you're on the right side of the parentheses type the space bar so you have one space one dash in cognito and this will also be in the description if you just want to copy and paste uh, just make sure that you copy the space and the dash hit apply and then hit ok that's it now all you have to do is just double click the google chrome safe mode and if you notice right up here uh, there's that little spy thing character or whatever you want to call it and it tells you um, this helps because uh, if you're having a problem with Google Chrome <coughs> then this should this should fix it I mean it doesn't fix oh, sorry let me rephrase it it doesn't fix your problem but it should at least allow you to get in there and maybe change some uh, settings and then you can follow our other video and go through the extensions and um, all that. And of course, if you need any help, um, all of our links are in our emails. You can get a hold of us and uh, we'll help you out. And if this, um, if this still doesn't work, then you need to run the scans that we told you in the other video. And that's a vast malware bytes. Spy uh, another good one that I hadn't mentioned that I use on occasion is I believe it's called anti so anti spyware. I don't think I have it on this this computer. This isn't my service computer. This is my office computer, so I probably don't have it. No, super. That's it. Super anti spyware. And it's super anti spyware.com. Just download the free version. All the pain, you want to make sure that you update it. Um, you can do the portable version of the free. Um, if you went to professional, you can contact us for uh, to get it at wholesale cost. 
and it's I mean it's it's pretty simple and it's uh, you know it does some advanced scanning without you have to be advanced at, in the knowledge of it and when I make our when I actually find get the time to make our uh, new tune-up video and virus removal video I'll include that in there um, so make sure you subscribe to us and you'll get an update when we add the videos thank you and I hope this has been helpful to you uh, if it has we'd appreciate a review on Google that's where we're removing all of our testimonials and reviews over to Google Plus um, and of course, if you want to give us a recommendation on Facebook, we'd appreciate that too. You have a great day.